What is going on, guys? It's Taylor. And it's your boy, Dre. And welcome to our review of Tomb Raider, The Legend of Laura Croft on uh, Netflix came out uh, back October 10th. Um, but we gave it a week to let everybody kind of catch up and watch the episodes. Eight episodes featuring Haley Atwell as Laura Croft herself, the Tomb Raider. Um, so I have a confession. You... I have never played a single Tomb Raider game. Really? At all? Even PS... You're a PlayStation fan. I, I I, I've be... played the... Like, one part... Okay, I did play the demo of Tomb Raider and the camera angles. This was back when camera angles were really hard to control. Like, I, I did some flip and then the camera, like, get wacky, woofy, wacky. And I just like, you know what? This game's not for me. Oh, so I... I never played the O oh, the OG Terminators. I did play them on the re the, the remakes on Xbox. Um, back when the Terminator was where she kind of learned to be Laura Croft, pretty much like the Terminator when she she was nothing. She was not nothing, but she was like inexperienced. Then as the game progressed, you kind of get skills, you build skills up, and at the very end, you get your your dual uh, guns, like you know, iconic in the game. Um, and then the next one, I thought actually I, I, I had fun with them. Uh, the newer ones, they were it was the ones we saw. Off, like they were very kind of here's them like, like Fallout. I, I've no, like, never. Fallout, but, um, I'm gonna say I've like, never played a single. Um, I've, I've dubbed this genre. Oh, What's up? You must be, it's like anyway. I dubbed this genre the Indiana Jones genre. I don't play any of these games. I've never played Uncharted. Mm -hmm. I've never played Tomb Raider. I've never played. Far Cry. I, I assume all Cry. these games had the same exact kind of. You go search for some treasure and some shit, and shit happens. Maybe. I yes. Don't know. This I never played any of so, them, so I just don't. I've never just gotten to this. I don't. I I can understand like why Laura Croft was a big deal back then because you know quote unquote female Indiana Jones, you know boys. It it's kind of like short search. It's kind of hot. I even go as far as saying um, Angelina. Big pulling up boobs. Yeah, Angelina Jolie as Indiana Jones. Or female Indiana Jones in a movie. I, I, I even that's kind of cool. I've never actually seen it. I've maybe seen parts of it. I think there's maybe two of those movies. There's two of them. Yeah, the Tomb Raider and then there's Cradle. The Tomb yeah. Cradle or something. Right. Like, okay, these things, but I've never seen them. I've never seen the Uncharted movies. Um, I, I've seen Indiana Jones, and that's probably as far as I've gone in that whole genre. So I don't. I've never. It maybe National Treasures is like the other thing that's like kind of like like this that I'll say like I can watch like okay i get the whole ancient history travel through time kind of thing uh I, I bring all that up to say is that what the games are like well you do go in and find them you there is a main mission this main story you're going through and you just happen to be like you go on these clues to get take you different areas and you have to solve puzzles to get into different areas and did um, at some point she fight mystical magical monsters and meet well there's all it, yeah there's always something I mean, she fucking fought like, dinosaurs I, I, in, in the OG one. She yeah. fought a dinosaur. Like, I genuinely don't um, know because I've never played them. So I was like, no, oh. yeah, you, you fight like you fight either um, people of, of, of the area or I can't remember if you fight spirits per se, but I think it's just people in general. Like you, you fight, they may be imbued with mystical powers, you know that 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 way, but not like you aren't fighting like ghosts or anything like Casper and shit. But <laughs> um, but this show is all about. Um, I guess pretty much white people are stealing from Mexicans and Asian people. This is all it really is. It's that's how I got it. <laughs> the, the beginning of the game, she just takes shit. Like the beginning of the movie, the show, she takes shit. All she's doing is taking shit. Well, I will say that and one then, thing like, I do recognize what's up? in this. And I say I say that in just just to make a joke. Because in 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 uh, I don't say in history, but in at least last. No in history, of people take a lot of stuff. No, 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 I'm saying the last twenty years, we've had a reckoning of. Like, is it okay to steal all these ancient artifacts? To put them in a museum. A museum, right? There's but like, they weren't. They go into her house. They were in her house. Oh well, yeah. Them were. I feel like that's part of what she's right. Like, it is that. But she's. And then she tried to auction them off to the house. Auction them off to the museum. So maybe I. I maybe it's less. So than she I stole it. To I, put it in her house. To auction it off to a museum and I, say that's okay. I felt like maybe she was like doing right by them. But you put it that way. I, I don't think she was. Maybe not. I, I thought I don't it think was. She was either. Okay. In I, theory, in game way, like yeah, it's a fun. I'm 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 Laura Croft. I'm hunting these tombs. I get treasure, cool. But in reality, it's like yeah. I'm stealing to, to make money off to steal. To there's, sell. A, there's a great episode of um, last week tonight with John Oliver where he's like goes over that like how if you ever look if you ever want to know where some ancient artifact is, go to like a British museum and they're always there yeah. and they're like and they say well they shouldn't let us take basically their excuse is like they shouldn't let us take them 
in the first place why we, we trust them is like it's our our fact like let me do what i want to do anyway mm -hmm. so yeah i, I thought it may be the reckoning night but you're saying they don't anyway um i didn't really get it. and it's not to say this show was bad i just I, I think if i i think if this was uncharted the anime i would still feel the exact same way have you seen, have you seen the uncharted movie nope I watched it. Um, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't play the game, but I watched the movie. It was just more of an adventure type thing. Uh, yeah, young Indiana, Indiana Jones, Jones, I guess you can say. Yeah. If you, if you want to compare it to Indiana Jones, young Indiana Jones. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I feel like all that this there there there's just like these ancient treasure genre things. Indiana Jones is like the one that really stands out. Yeah. To me, um, you're, you're just giving fodder people in comments saying that like men do it better. <laughs> That's all you're doing. <laughs> I, I don't even think that. I, I there's probably some statistics where. It'd probably be safer if they and not talking about in real life if, if, if they're just really you in, in fictional land it doesn't matter right okay um but i just don't like to me i guess it's kind of cool i mean what was the last movie i saw that was kind of like this i don't know it was with sandra bullock oh it was the one with him and him and um it was it was with he she was the it was him and, and basically Indiana Jones, right? Yeah, but it was him and what's his name, Gambit. From, Gambit, yeah. Um, um, I his name though. Magic Mike. Why can't I think yeah. of his name? I don't know. Why. But yeah, and he was a he was a model, but like his hair was fake, or whatever. And and they were it's actually a funny movie though. Yeah, me and my um, wife watched it, and she you, goes to it. You said you watched it. You watched it. Yeah, yeah it was funny. Brad Pitt had the funniest character. <laughs> yeah, he kept dying, but he didn't die. He yeah, was in, he was invincible. <laughs> like, he was the NPC that didn't die. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was a funny movie. Like it's ultimately just female Indiana Jones, and like, and it's always like my dad or my superior or my higher up did all these treasure hunts, but he never quite completed them, and I go complete them. It's the exact same thing. But never was it said that these are wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> never was that addressed. Stealing all these ancient artifacts. But like I like I asked why is this like what it is? Because like this one was like the end of the world was going to take place. Cause I, so I was maybe I wasn't paying attention or something like right. It's a, a good possibility. Yeah. Um, Cause by episode eight, she defeated quote unquote the bad guy, the villain. Yeah. And then there was a whole other episode like. See that wasn't necessary for me. Yeah. That was that was unnecessary. It's kind of like watching Bleach, and then the last season of Bleach, he became like a detective. And like, well, that that ended with like your story ended like. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that that's so it. Like the, the season was, like, was unnecessary. She beat the villain who was yeah quote unquote taking these rocks or gems or. What do they call them? They they said it's like they split a spirit stone, philosopher stone, whatever. Yeah. She took him and she like defeated the guy, right? But then she had to go bring him back to where they came from. Otherwise, the world was gonna end. I just felt like that was the end. The episode before. It's kind of, it's kind of like an end game where like he's like, okay, I'm gonna go do it and leave. And like he does it off screen. You're like, oh, you could you could have done that. And it's yeah. assumed. I mean, or just keep him. Fuck it. Yeah, keep it, everything else. It Why just not? Felt like they wrote an extra episode. Just be, just to write another episode, and it, it, it yeah, it felt off pace because there was no, there was no villain in that episode. Like they fought a Tyrannosaurus Rex at the world. That's a callback to the game. Yeah, I mean, if anything, they're just they're trying to do fan service. Like, yeah. oh yeah, we didn't do enough fan service for the games. But by that point, they, like the problem had already been solved. <laughs> it just yeah. felt like so unnecessary to me. Again, and I, and sad things like I actually love Haley Atwell as an actress. Um, I love everything she's in. Mm -hmm. um, I really liked her at Agent Carter cartoon or. Um, um, the what if you mean? Yeah, the what if she was Captain Captain uh, Britain. Yeah, and I liked her as Agent Carter too. Um, and I also liked her in Black Mirror. So I like Haley Atwell's. So right now she did the voice of this. I was like, okay, cool. But I just didn't. I don't know. Like, this whole show just felt like to me kind of. I think if it was shorter, because there was a lot of episodes too. It was like nine eight, eight episodes. episodes. Okay, episode. It felt long. Um, I feel like they could have made this six, and they could have like. Do you want to know my favorite, story? my favorite episode? What's up? Look at it right now. It's called "The Spirit Away." It's when they go to the amusement park. <laughs> I thought that was funny. It was funny when, too because she's so she's so almost like um, uh, like she, she has Asperger's, right? Like she doesn't like she doesn't recognize or, or catch things or like doesn't know how to act in public. Yeah. So she's doing her own thing, and the kids are like, "What the fuck?" And the guy's like trying to like, cover for her. I thought it was funny. Like, you know, this is actually a funny episode, and it has nothing to do. It has some, pro I guess, progression as far as the golden tree and the stuff in the valley. But for the most part, that part when they were in the music park, I thought that was funny. Like, I'm like, you know, this, I like this. This is actually no, this is it my, my enjoyable time. The best part when she like she's trying to get in line in it for the golden tree, and she like hops <laughs> on the edge, she runs across it real quick. <laughs> that was kind of funny. 
And I, I was also thinking, like, how did she get that giant metal thing in there? Like, no one stopped her. Like, hey, you can't bring a weapon in here. It was like the was different, different, we, different security issues. I back went then. to Hurricane, not Hurricane. What was Hurricane it? Harbor. Uh, Queen Mary's Dark Harbor. Harbor. Yeah. This year? No, nah, not this year. Like, yeah. we need to use. We've, we've been we've been yeah. together for the last. Like, um, years. You know, uh, I, I don't have one. Uh -huh. um, do I have one on? No. Knife, uh, a gun. Um, you know the thing that people use to like clip their keys onto stuff. Like the C clamps? It's, it's like it's like a this, and then you push one side yeah, in. Yeah, it's a good C. Yeah, like okay, yeah, sure. They told me that was a fucking weapon, and I had to take that stuff back to my car. They wouldn't let me bring it in. So the fact that it, Laura Croft got this giant, like, looks like a dagger, like a, a, a Sith type dagger. Yeah. Into that, it was just like mind boggling me. I was like, how did she get that? Uh, that I, I saw her, and I was just like, we're this is that that was in Long Beach, California, in the U.S. You say it's some black guy, right? No, I'm saying that, but like, <laughs> no, no, I'm saying, but like, in where she was, where that took place, like, there's shit issues may be very lax. There's not a lot of like oh, violence there for like, <laughs> it's a fucking kid. There wasn't even, there wasn't even like a proper like roller coaster there. There was just like, like good, almost, almost healthy ish, like food and like some a movie theater where they showed like the history and like a tour. And then no one seems to be like, I don't know. Yeah. I see any gangs there. So either way, it's not us right for him. Either way. Either, but they did it. I, I thought it was just okay. I, I wasn't positive. What was that nuclear explosion? That was false threw me off. When she was fight, right when the dude finally had joined the gym, she shot something at him, and then it was like, if you look from a distance, it looked like a nuclear explosion. Was it him nuclear explosion or the arrow she shot at him that exploded? I don't remember. Okay, I, I was. I saw, I saw this like the day it came out. This was like two weeks ago. Okay, yeah. You, you, shit, I, I'm more power for you. You, uh, you're more apt because you saw it recently. So. Yeah, I, I had to pace it out. Like I said, I think by the end of the day, it, it was just okay. Like I, I, but I felt like if I feel like, and again, this is why I bring up my confession I've never seen uh, on airplay these games. It's like I don't see. They all feel so interchangeable to me, and then I'm, I'm missing what's as far as like the episodes or like storyline or you know, character wise. Thor Croft, uh, Indiana Jones, um, the care the character from the Sandra Bullock movie. That they okay. feel so interchangeable. It's just like you know, like James Bond, and they all feel like the same character. I just don't. I just didn't get what made this so cool, fun, and adventurous. It was a it was an IP based on a, well, on a I, game that everyone everyone knew about when though, they, they played. When I watched the show, I was like, this could have easily been, like, they played it out so close to what a game was like. This could have easily been a video game. It probably, like, like, yeah. It, it, like, really probably kind of matched up in one for one. Yeah, like, it, it feels like they took a video game script that was scrapped and just turned it into an anime or vice versa. Because, like, you could, like, tell, like, this is the boss battle. Yeah. Okay, this is the sneaking mission. This is the quick time event. Yeah. Um, this is the uh, story cg story mode it felt so much like a video game it was it was crazy the one thing i'll tell you i did, did not like i could do without i could that took me out of the the fucking show with x games laura croft doing the fucking 360s on the bike and grand the bike when the first or second episode when she she's chasing the guy from her house to the boat where he, he took the artifact she stole the car yeah and then she got the car stopped so she got on the bike and she was like grinding down 50 50 grinding down rails doing through 60s for no reason doing a fucking backflip and I she was like any oh but she was doing <laughs> she would do some x game shit and i'm like this is not necessary like i get it like you're wearing shoes you're not wearing heels so maybe you have better grip on your and your pedals but come on like that's i'm not sure who that who said that would be a good addition to the episode um then later on i thought what they were doing she did one more x games move in another episode but the initial one I saw that, I'm like, why is she grinding? Why is she doing 50, like, 360s <laughs> yeah. and, and backflips? That just seems necessary and stupid. I, don't, I, I don't get it. Anything that will slow you down. So yeah, I remember her taking the keys. Like, oh, stay a while, love. And then taking off in the car. And, and then she, it gets blurry. <laughs> then I remember him, like, shimming at the dock and looking we'll, at the guy after this, we'll see, we'll see that fucking part. And I'm like, god damn, this is, like, it's so <laughs> stupid. Like, I hate that part. I'm going to take this part out. That's it. I'll take this part out and less episodes off. This could have been six episodes. Um, Keep the one of the using parts. I like that episode. Overall, in general, the show was fine. It was it was okay. Um, I, I don't think. I mean, from you, I, me as a, I played Tomb Raider at least two two games. You play no 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 games except a demo. Um, to me, I didn't. I I, I 
uh, somewhat kind of a, okay well that's the outfit she uh is using the game um those are you know we're i'm assuming that in the in this show she's already had adventures so if you're gonna look at game to show she's already progressed past the first two games the new games from the ubisoft games that came out um where she learns to be laura croft second one she's actually laura croft and has her skills this one she has like her her hook she acquired the hook because she helped the npc um so she got that, that hook that she uses <laughs> the metal the metal uh thing um you don't really need to, to play the games to, to know the character. Just know that she steals shit from people and she sells it to make money. Dre? It was okay. I, I, there wasn't, I didn't have any strong negative feels about it, but it wasn't like strongly positive. Like, oh, you will. I'll go back and show you the 5060. Like same floor <laughs> Croft. Like, I, it, it was just really whatever. Like, to be, it, um, I love the style of animation, but it just seems so wasted on a Nick Laura Croft. I think, like, it, it seems like. It was a very high quality anime for a show that didn't require that much high quality anime and uh, animation. Mm -hmm. um, like it was a, it was an okay show at the end of the day. I was not against it. Like I said I, it felt just like watching an anime version of a video game. Um, like wonder like, like I said, I, I, it felt so like it. It really felt like they really one hundred percent genuinely just took a script that was scrapped mm -hmm. and turned it into a an anime versus a game because you could feel the the boss battles you could feel the quick time events you could feel the the story mode you could feel the the back like the like when she fights a thing and then like she loses and then she goes to the backstory mode and you can go through the, like the, the memory thing you're going yeah. through. It, it felt like a an anime it was like oh, this is, it was your walking simulator yeah it, it, was, it was it was crazy so yeah i mean again kudos i mean would i watch another one maybe so you want see. you want season two? Does season two matter to you? No, it did. Like it doesn't matter. Again, it, I was never like, why did it? When I made this source, I was like, eh, whatever. I watched it and I was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but they make it season two, I'm like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So it's just not. There's no enthusiasm for me. Like it's not bad, but I'm just like, whatever. I, again, I don't have. I don't. Nothing against Laura Croft or Indiana Jones. I just never had a big desire to get into that. So. Treasure hunter. Stealing. Genre. Stealing. <laughs> All right. Well, just if you know, if you do want to see a show and you do want to promote it, you do like it and you want to really enjoy it and want to show the creator and everybody that this does count as a good show to watch and to make more of, you're to binge watch the whole thing in one sitting. Literally, I'm not trying. I'm making a joke, but that's how it is. That they they look at the they look at the numbers as not how many you watch or how many it's how many you watch in a row, like how long you watch it. So they want you to watch it. That's what they always tell you when they promote it. Like, oh, please watch it. Watch the whole thing. Binge watch it. They want you to watch, see it in one sitting. That shows Netflix and the metrics that it's a good show that people actually enjoyed enough to sit and watch. That story was good enough. If you break it up piece by piece, like week by week or every couple of days, that shows the consistency and that shows that the metrics show that it wasn't that popular, at least to you or to them. And that metric, metric skews things. So if you really want to truly enjoy a show or a movie, or whatever, watch it in one sitting. The whole thing and that will show them like also that's why they have like the are you still watching this thing um because they want to make sure that you're still there you still you don't have it running in the background um it's just so like it's yeah. like yeah i hate that book. Like, are you still watching the bitch <laughs> someone going to the movie are you still watching this movie yeah oh yeah y'all still watch okay i just wanted to check carry on <laughs> all right guys on that note thanks uh for watching if you like to subscribe, um, hope you enjoyed our surprise on Wednesday in our new show. I'm not sure when's this dropping, but either way, <laughs> um, yeah. If you like to subscribe, thanks for you for watching, and on that we shall see you later. Peace.